Hello everyone, I'm Argama Witch, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, load hair presets into Vroid because a few people have asked me about this, so here we go! Alright, so let's say you're over on Booth and you find a hair that you really like and you've like bought it or you've downloaded it or whatever and it doesn't have this information here well i'm gonna show you <laughs> how to do it so let's pretend i just bought this i'm gonna it's uh right here on my desktop okay and what you're going to do now is you're going to uh open a, uh, a file explorer you're gonna open explorer you're gonna go into your uh c your c drive right and then you're going to go to users and then you're going to go find your name uh you're going to go find app data which should be right here it might be slightly hidden if you have folders hidden you're going to have to like um uh, allow you to see hidden folders which i'm trying to remember how to do that i don't i don't remember exactly how to do that but anyways app data or yeah app data then you want local low, which is usually the middle one. Uh, and so we want v right, so we want the Pixaviv or Pixavi or whatever. Uh, and then you go into v right Studios, and then there's hair presets. And you should have all your hair presets here. Don't mind all these. You won't have these. These are the ones that I make and whatever. So now what you do is you're going to open up your folder. Um, you can unzip it if you want, but you're going to want the one that says preset, and it might be in Japanese if you get a Japanese one, but you want the preset one, and you're just going to kind of drag and drop it right into this fucking folder. Give it a second. There, that should be good. Now we're going to launch Vroid, which I have open over here. Ba -ba -da. Click on your model that you want. Wait for it to load. Wait for it to... Okay, there it loads. Go over to hair presets, um, and now it should be there, and then you just, um, you do the presets, you drop down, you find it, and then you do import, and BAM! BAM! You've just imported hair! Yeah! Now if you want to export hair or save, you can just, uh, save your preset here. It's gonna show up here under a new name, and if you want to share it with somebody, you can then just grab it from this uh, folder here and zip it and send it off to them. Uh, yeah, but it's pretty pretty damn simple. Um, I don't know why I keep looking over there. I'm just used to kind of looking over there. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If this video has helped you out, give it a like and um, uh, subscribe to, to uh, subscribe because you love me and you want to see more from me. Subscribe. <laughs> I know a lot of you are just coming here for information and you never subscribe! Look, look, subscribe! Look, wait, can can we do the the uh, dream meme grab? Look, this is the percentage of you that are not subscribed! <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll see you in my next scuff tutorial. Alright, bye.